Hello everyone, this is tutorial for seatbelt, how to link it. So let's start. So I got this E2, I made it. So this is completely new, made from scratch E2. Uh, it is really different compared to what it was before uh, on the public release of this Volvo. It's way cleaner and it's way easier to use. Okay, let's start. First of all, we got this E2 placed, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this variable 1. What it does, if I activate it, oh wait, let me link everything. If I activate it, it's going to tell me what am I, what do I need to do. So, let's follow the steps, and what we're going to do first, we're going to link the base. It's pretty simple, you just link it to the base NC of your contraption. As for seats array and pots array, you need two advanced NC markers. So the first uh, NC marker is going to be uh, for seats and pots. So how do you link it? You press right click and follow the same uh, pattern you do with ABS. So basically front left, front right, rear left, rear right. It's, ma it's made for determining uh, the side, whether it's left or right. So we've done linking. Same goes for pots. Front left, front right, rear left, rear right. Next thing, we are going to link it. Link it to the E2. It's, okay, it's done for engine active, I don't have anything regarding that input right now on this car exactly, but I'm going to link it to fuel use and this variable, this input should be always one when your engine is on, basically. So yeah, it will burn, just in case. Let's update the E2, the tutorial on. So as you can see, we put seatbelts on, so you can see and actually adjust them. Besides that, it shows the pot controllers, which one is what. And it also tells you that it's ready to use. So after that, you should be disabling this. And it's going to disappear. And now you can properly use it. So for example, now, engine is not on. I can still put my seatbelt on, uh, just pressing F in this case. Yeah, F, F for lights, or whatever whatever letter key you have for lights. If the engine is running and I'm not buckled up, it's going to play warning sound. But for as for warning sound, it just needs uh, some kind of like a sound emitter or whatever E2 you're going to use it for. So what it does, it just outputs whether it needs to warn or not. So in this case, if I put my seatbelt on stops warning. Good. So, besides that, uh, in my case, I got different seat models and it made it harder to configure the seat belts. So for that, I made a special uh, configuration table. Uh, what it does is basically you can change it, you can change the pos pos position and angle of for each uh, seat because they all act, like, act different. So, yeah, in this case, as you can see, it's all different. For angle, it's not. So, but in case it is, you can just use it. Um, here you can change the material, color, model, and scale. It's really, a scale is really hard to guess, in my opinion, my practice. Yeah, it was really hard. Also, to get the up-to-date version, uh, go to this link, it will lead you to my github and find there something dedicated to seatbelts. And there you go. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit a subscribe button and like button so you don't miss the new videos and have a good time.